Hello, my name is Thomas Hütbrecker and I want to show you how to add a simple query to your Quality Manager dashboard. First, a short look to the dashboard. The dashboard contains several information about your project to your specific role and your need. In this tab you can see the current user information. A new functionality is that you can configure widgets containing the detailed query information on a dashboard. That's what we will insert here. We will search for test cases which do not cover requirements. To do this we need a widget which fulfills the need we want to do to add the specific query information to our dashboard. This widget is called Test Artifacts. Now we search for a query which will fill the needs in our project. First we must select the test cases we want to display and now we search for the concrete query. Currently there is no query we need. So that means we must build our own query to add these to the dashboard. Now we configure our own query. As you can see there is already a query open which has related requirements. You can organize all the query stuff on a left hand side having different folders or filter by categories or filter by test plans. In the middle you can open a section which contains the filter options. We will filter for does not have requirements linked. Now we see all test cases which do not have a related requirement. Now we want to store our configured query. We will share the query with all participants in our project. We could create a new folder called requirements coverage. We want to store later on maybe some more queries related to requirements coverage. Now we will give this query a name which reflects what it does. As you can see there is an option called column settings you can select and we will select this box to be sure that all the display settings and columns are shown as we organized before. Now the query is stored and available through the folder organization on the left hand side. Our query we also want to order by priority. Therefore we just click like in Excel at the column to order that. So we can see the most important test cases which are not related to requirements. Now we must save these changes to our existing query. Let's take a look to the dashboard. We want to add our configured query now to our widget in the dashboard. We can easily find our new configured query and add these to the widget. Inside the widget we want to display the most important columns for us to be informed. The priority, the owner, and the test plan. To make it more readable we can adjust the column size putting in the right number and also order it. The name is a little bit longer. The ID does not take too much space. The priority is OK and the owner a little bit more. That's OK, now we can see what the result is. Now we are good informed and we can easily see which is a high important test case to not have 
covered requirements. And we can also adjust some appearance so that, for example, to show color coding, that blue means these information come from the quality management area. Thanks for watching and hope this was useful for you. See you again. Bye.